in part five of this series, I'll show you how to calculate simple interest. And specifically in this video, I'll show you how to calculate the interest rate when it's not provided. As discussed in the last video, simple interest is interest calculated only on the original amount invested. And that is known as the principal amount. The first question asks, an investment grew from $600 to $625.20 in eight months. What rate of simple interest does the account pay? So this time we are looking for R and we are told that the interest earned is 625.20 minus 600. And so they gained $25.20 in interest. The time frame here, T is eight months. Now we can't use eight months because the formula works on a yearly basis. So we're going to need to convert this into years. The principal here is 600. And that's how much initially was invested. The first thing that we have to do is convert this eight months into years. Now we know that there are 12 months in one year. So we have eight months here and we have set up a simple ratio problem where we have 12 over 8 is equal to 1 over t. 8 times 1 is 8, t times 12 is 12t. So we have 12t is equal to 8, t is equal to 8 over 12, which is equivalent to 2 over 3. I'm going to plug in everything I know into my formula. i is equal to prt. My i, as we determined, was $25.20. My p was 600. The r is what I'm looking for, so I'm going to leave that vacant. And my t was 2 over 3. I need to solve for r, so I'm going to divide both sides by 600 times 2 over 3. Doing that on both sides. This will cancel out, leaving me with just R. And I have 25.2 divided by this thing. 600 times 2 over 3 gives me 0 0.063. That is equal to 6.3%. You just need to multiply this by 100% and you get that number. Let's move on to question 2. Question two tells us that the investment grew from 600 to 650 in 10 months. What rate of interest does the account pay? So in our case here, our I is 50. All I did was subtract what I earned from what I started with. My principal is 600 as before. My R is what I'm looking for and my T is 10 months. 10 months in years is actually 5 over 6, and the reason for that is take 12 months in one year. We have 10 months, and we're looking for a t. If you cross multiply everything here, you end up with 10 over 12, which is equal to 5 over 6. I'm going to plug all of this into my formula, as I did before, and I end up with 50. 600, so that's my I, that's my P, my R is what I'm looking for, and my T is 5 over 6. Plug this all into your calculator, 50 divided by the product of these two, 600 times 5 over 6, gives us an interest rate of 0 0.1, multiplying this by 100 gives us 10%. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate simple interest. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.